everybody. Hi guys. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. L Cross Beauty Channel. Coming to you with everybody's favorite Hot Topic Thursday. Yes, it's really hot today. Caliente. Caliente. Muy caliente, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, we let's... We gotta laugh because we're so tired from moving that we just laughing and joking, Ooh, making, making, it, making the light of it. And you're watching this video, we'll be getting ready to get on the plane and head out for a weekend cruise because we need a break. We already had it planned uh, prior to us knowing we were going to Florida. Yes, all me. <laughs> this traveler treated me. Yes. So it's right on time. Give us a break for a weekend and I'm looking forward to we it. We need it. <laughs> anyway guys, let's jump to it. Uh, the, yeah. first, the first one, we actually did a video on this before. But two people asked the same question. I figured we'd touch and talk about it real quick. And of course, I never see the questions before they're read. So I like to be surprised just like you. All right, here we go. We have Rodney Brown. Hi, Rodney. Who says, have you ever taken the onboard ship tour? Is it worth the money? And on a similar note, Helen. Hi, Hi Helen. Helen. Hi guys, another awesome video. I know you two are extremely busy. We appreciate the time you took for this. I was curious, have you ever done a kitchen or bridge tour on any of the cruise ships that you've been on? If so, what are your thoughts? Did you like the tour? Does it cost extra? Have a fantastic day. Thank you, you too. So Rodney and Helen. <laughs> Thank you um, for your questions, Rodney and Helen. We appreciate it. Yes, we have a video on this subject already. Uh, the behind the behind the fun tour that we did on Carnival. But uh I know that Royal Caribbean and I know that Carnival both do the behind the fun tours. I don't know, they're not, Royal Caribbean doesn't call it behind the fun, but it's a behind the scenes tour. It's behind the scenes on Royal and then it's behind the fun on Carnival. Yeah. And I'm sure the other lines do it too, I'm just not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, was it worth it? Absolutely. A plus, number one excursion to do on a boat. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend it, but you have to. On the ship. <laughs> on, on the, the ship, ship on the ship on the ship not okay boat. yeah so um you have to get right to the excursion desk like on carnival i know we had to go to the excursion desk immediately uh as soon as we got on the sh ship to uh book this because they very limited uh tours we had 16 people with us on our tour and they did two tours during a week-long cruise so 32 people it books up really really fast yeah so it was definitely 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 worth it um, we we already know that the people on the cruise ship work really hard getting the behind the scenes tour on it really gives you a look into how hard they really do work and I will tell you it was truly amazing like the kitchen you would be amazed at how clean and sterile it, it is. It reminds me of the cleanliness of a hospital and I've worked a lot in surgery. It, it reminds me of that. That's how clean it was back there. Yeah, it's super clean. It, it's it's immaculate. Yeah, super organized. Very, very organized, smooth, yeah. staff was fun. They made us feel welcome. It was great. Probably my favorite part of it was going to see the captain. Yep, going going up to see the captain, see the, see bridge. the bridge. That was the best. Yes, uh, it was. Seeing the view from up there, and we got a chance to one on one ask the captain any questions that we had, and I asked him a ton of questions because yes. nobody else. Would Everybody ask the else questions. was too shy. Yeah, we saw the bridge, we saw the kitchen, we saw some of the special dining rooms behind the scenes. Yes. We saw the uh, theater and the entertainment area behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And we got to see the, the sleeping quarters, kind of like where the, the break room hangs out, the break room, mm -hmm. yeah. the uh, storage rooms where they keep your luggage and all that stuff. Yes. So it was really cool. It gave us a good insight. We did that on the Colonel Breeze, didn't we? We did. It was wonderful. I really enjoyed it, and I re highly recommend it. If you if you have time to go straight to the desk and book it, you should. But it fills up so fast. It's like hit or miss. Yep, get to it and do it. Uh, how much did it cost? I think it cost us, I'm gonna say it was like $100. It was about $100 a piece. About $100 a piece for us to do, do 
through that. And I think it's the same on Royal Caribbean, maybe just a little bit higher. Yep. Go for it. It was worth it. All right. Thank you guys for the great question. Thank you. Uh, Calvin has a question. Hi, Calvin. Hello. Hi. How important is it to establish stats with one cruise line? My wife and I are on the cruise. Uh, one cruise shy of gold with Carnival. And after watching some of your videos, we want to start trying other cruise lines. Okay. We have also done a video on this called Loyalty Matters. Yes, I'm going to put it right here. You can just click right here and you can watch it. Or the card. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's, it, it's a hard question. That's a hard question to answer. I believe in Loyalty Matters um, to get some of the perks and things like that. Yes. If you're one shy away from gold, I would probably get the gold just to have it. If you that interested in the point system and you want to save on your cruises, I would recommend just cruising the same line like Royal Caribbean and Carnival over and over again so you can get discounts. But if you go back and forth like we did, it's kind of hard to do it because we like to travel each line. So if you stick to Carnival or Royal Caribbean, we would say it'd be easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a personal choice. Are it's the a personal choice. are the Perks were really worth it to you. I don't know when you get to gold on Carnival, you really get a lot of perks. Nah, I mean, not really. Yeah, you get some discounts on some things, and you make it. Talk about with um, the tiers. Yeah, we're gonna get. we're gonna do a video on that. Um, yeah. so you, you get some different discounts on, on things, and you may get a uh, offer for a discount on on a, on a room and things like that. Yep. I wouldn't necessarily let it hold you up. If I mean, no. if you if you're if you want to really try, like, say, the Oasis or something on a different cruise line, you know, go for it. With us, it's more the destinations versus the boats, so we're more interested in the islands. But sometimes we want to take a look at the boat, like the Allure. Yeah. Um, in October, we want to just take a look at the boat. The boat is our destination for that one. But, but for the most part, it's the destinations of the islands. Yeah. More right. so, more so, yes. This is your exit, honey. Okay. Come on. We're driving. This is real life. <laughs> um, Pre-Mr. Traveler days, the islands were really important to us. Now that we're doing the Mr. Traveler, different uh, things here that we've got associated with Mr. Traveler, we are trying to bring you some of the nicer ships. Mm -hmm. um, so We're doing a lot more bigger ships now. Yeah. We're going to start cruising the small ones again, but... We're trying to cover some big ones for you guys right no, now. No, we're trying to trying to make it uh, keep it interesting. Yeah, but that was a really good question. That, so, go for it. You know, here, here's the thing: if we our first cruise was Royal Caribbean, if we would have stuck with Royal Caribbean, we'd probably be Diamond Plus with them, and they get some pretty good mm -hmm. they get some pretty good perks. But we wanted to try Carnival, so we did Royal Caribbean. We did mm -hmm. Carnival back and forth, back and forth. Right. Um, and now we're branching off into Norwegian. You know, there's. Royal Caribbean has some really nice perks once you get up there. Carnival has some. I'll do another video on it. Just comment below if you want us to do a video on it. You know what? If you really want to try a different ship, just go for it. Yeah. Keep driving down further than further down. Okay. Thank you for the great question. I'm Thank sorry you. it was, was kind a, of a wishy washy we try, answer. We try to answer it, but it's really your preference. It yeah. depends on your preference, but we'll tell you our opinions, but you have to cruise in order to know what you like and don't like. Okay. Uh, here's a name you'll know, Esmeralda. Hi, Esmeralda. That's Essie. <laughs> Hi, Essie. Hi, she Esmeralda. is my favorite subscriber because she was our first subscriber, <laughs> and she's been with us since day one. She's been with us for a long time. Yep. Anyway, she says, "Have y'all ever been to Aruba? And how is it?" We love Aruba. Yes, we have been there. We have been to Aruba. Yes. Uh, the, the itinerary is great when you do the Aruba cruise or the it's as a Southern Caribbean South cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Mr. Traveler driving. Anyway, um, the Southern Caribbean cruises are, are really nice because it usually goes, uh, you can either get on it from uh, Puerto Rico, you can get on it from Miami and I believe from Fort Lauderdale as well. And you usually hit Aruba and like uh, Curacao or Bonaire, and then it'll come back up and hit like St. Martin and St. Thomas, you know, or you know, some version of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a really nice cruise because you get a day at sea to get down there. It's and everything. really, really nice and it's really pretty. The pictures don't lie. Mm -hmm. If you want to take a look at the pictures online, you can Google it. It looks just like that in real life. 
yes, I recommend Aruba. They, it's a like a really flat place. It's more arid. They have a lot of cactus and yeah, it's more deserty. It's yeah. a lot of desert there. Yeah. But one side is desert and one side is ocean with lush. It's fun exploring Aruba. Yeah, it is. You have to. And you can see uh, South America from the from the ship when you're going in there. Mm -hmm. You can see like the coast of South America. Yes, yeah, really distance. really cool. So. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. Try Aruba. Uh, we've known people that have done, uh, gone, flew straight there for uh, resorts and had a wonderful time. Sure. And the, I definitely recommend going to cruise there. So, yeah. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you, Essie. Go for it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to add lib this one a little bit here. This is from uh, Patricia. Hi, again. Patricia. And in a nutshell, she was asking that her mother's a little bit concerned about. Uh, bad weather in the Caribbean, particularly Bahamas, during the month of October. Yep. And so we will address that. Uh, not just Bahamas, but all the Caribbean. Hurricanes are a concern. Uh, that time of year, anytime from July through November, you have the possibility of a hurricane. The water can get a bit rocky. Yeah. Uh, that being said, the ships do an excellent job of going around those type of things. If there's a hurricane coming, they will go to different itinerary, they'll go to do a different itinerary, different ports. Yep, we'll, might have to skip an island. And worst case scenario, they may even cancel the cruise if there's no way around it. Like the, if it's dead set on hitting Miami, say, for instance, they'll cancel those cruises coming out of Miami. They will be canceled, yep. The, yep. the captains are really, really experts in that field. Yeah, so you can go around worrying about a lot of things every day of your life. Uh, sure, plenty to worry about. Yeah, the chances of the hurricane, I, you know, I don't know. We can go online and look up some some statistics for you. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Keep your eye on the weather forecast, just like the cruise lines do. They will advise you if they have to cancel. Uh, they will advise you if they have to change the itinerary. When I trust you, you'll still have a great time. Don't worry about it. We have been on a bunch of in October. We've been on a bunch. Most of our cruises have been July, August, September, October. Yeah, a lot of we them. We usually take it in the winter. That's in, in the summer. I mean, in the summer. You're right. We usually take the cruise in the summer. We take our most of our cruises during hurricane season. Guess how many yes, hurricanes out of twenty four cruises? Twenty four. How many? 25. How many cruise? How many times have we been involved with a hurricane on a cruise out of twenty five cruises? And probably twenty of them have been during hurricane season. Zero. We were in a hurricane once in Florida at a land land we were, tour. We were on, we were in Florida. Hurricane. We were Faye. we were not on a boat. Right. Yes, we were. We went to Orlando. <laughs> yep. We still went. But on uh, on the cruise, we have had zero we hurricanes. We have never been in a hurricane on a cruise because the captains are experts at avoiding the 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 weather. Sometimes they can't avoid it, but they are really good at avoiding. As discussed before, we been in some dicey weather but don't let the fear keep you back don't let it keep you from cruising and traveling because you would be scared all the time if that was the case yeah cruise on cruise on but anyway, guys uh, if i can help you book a land or a cruise tour or whatever you would like to do i've had that comment quite a bit yeah. uh, can i do it's the traveler's address will be right oh below. you know what someone did ask a question while i'm on the subject of travel agent and I'm www.mr-traveler.com. Yes. Carolyn Talley asks. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> How are you? Uh, she wants to know what's the job of a travel agent. Is there a fee associated with it? Is there an include notification fee? Uh, what can the agent do that I can't do for myself? Those <laughs> those kind of those kind of questions. Okay, so okay. I used to really be a big do-it-yourself proponent yeah. until I got involved with this. The more I helped you guys, the more I learned. And then when I actually got involved with the travel agent business, there are deals and things that, as a travel agent, we can get to that you can't get to on your own. And I will tell you that. Yes, you won't have All access right. to it. I wish I would have made this move a long time ago, mm -hmm. but I wanted to make sure I was with the right company. Yes. So uh, are there fees associated with it? Uh, you know, we're obviously commission-based commission travel agents. Mm -hmm. I do not charge any fees with mine. No, he, he actually gives his away. <laughs> I, I there was yes, there's a there's a the there's yes, a service fee but not, I waive it I don't believe in charging. Do not charge it. Yeah. Uh, we call, really do this to help people. A lot of people don't know that about 
Yeah. But Mr. Traveler was doing this before he became a travel agent. He was the person that everybody went to when they wanted to book a cruise or they want to go out of town because he's real good at researching and digging. So I said, why don't you just become a travel agent? And he did. Indeed. So now he just, he did. That's what he loves to do. Yep. He really loves I it. I love helping you guys mm -hmm. make memories. That's like so important to me. And I love all the love that we get from you guys. Yes. And it's, it's, it's just really wonderful. And and mm -hmm. uh, plans for the future. I really want to expand the business and grow it. And I'm, sure. and I'm hopeful that we get to Florida and I'm able to get in there and network some and more. Hopefully we can get big enough where we can quit our jobs and do this full time. That's what we want to do. But for right now, no, we just helping you guys out. Yep. So, but we're working on it. Uh, again, if you know, check out the website and sure. you can see the great deal. I encourage you to shop around. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, you can call me. Sure, you have to have the, the right travel agent to help you out too. A lot of people don't have as much experience as, as Mr. Traveler has. So sure you, if you, even if you want to talk, if you don't want to book, you can still, you know, talk about resorts or uh, yeah, we're hotels. Help, or happy to look some up for you. Just flying directly to their destination. I just had a client yesterday that I booked. Uh, you know who you are. Hello. She's a regular watcher. Oh, good. And um, when I gave her the price, she said, your price was exactly what Carnival charged, exactly to the penny, mm -hmm. except for I had an onboard credit on there. So uh, that kind of just kind of goes to show you. That's uh, great. Now, he was yep. off, he was able to offer an onboard credit versus just booking through Carnival. Right. So, and then you get the, you know, I monitor the price for you and That's that kind good. of thing. And On the onboard credits is depends on a lot of things it depends on how it's booked yeah you can't always get it but i mean there's mm -hmm. we try to find you the best deal yeah anyway <laughs> we can go on and on and on we anyway can. guys thank you for the good question thank you keep the questions coming guys have any other questions comment below right absolutely and we <laughs> love y'all thank you all and we still moving <laughs> we're still moving stay tuned for moving to florida vlogs Vlog that we're starting number two Yep. Oop, life short. Have fun. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.